This is a large part uh, of our business and we are, uh, you know, um, actively engaged in trying to see what value we can get from that market. Good. Uh, the second aspect is, uh, if you look at uh, how much value we have derived per asset, it has also grown by almost 50% over the last three to four years. So, which shows to an extent uh, the enrichment of the quality of the portfolio. So on these two fronts, I think we are broadly pleased on this. But uh, going ahead, I think it will be a testing time for a lot of generic industries in the US market because plain vanilla oral solids are not likely to return value. Uh, it is going to put pressure on return on capital employed and erode margins. If we don't graduate ourselves, from plain vanilla products to more of limited competition, high entry barrier products. So in that context, uh, what exactly are we trying to do in the you know midterm, short and midterm actually? And uh, we are in the lookout for more. But more importantly, also we are working uh, with a universe of partnerships, uh, and eventually what we. Uh, what is the outcome we are looking for in FI17 as we move towards that in the next few years. Of our total revenue, roughly about 40% would be through various forms of partnerships. This doesn't mean that we are not augmenting our own capabilities. It's still 60%, but there will be a large part coming from external partnerships. Also, the, you know, predominantly from a non, uh, from an oral solid dose company, uh, let's say about two, two to three years back, by FY17, about 30% of the revenue would be from non-oral solids. So what does it all point out to? Basically, our commitment to high entry barrier products, and we think that's how we'll be creating value in this company. Lastly, on this, I think we have a view uh, that it's, it's good that it will increase access uh, to the population, to the patients in this country. But uh, the cost of medicine is not the only thing in healthcare costs. And, and uh, you know, many of you are aware that uh, the, 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 ex the expenditure by government uh, in healthcare is about 1.6%, and it's been announced by the government that you know, in due cost, it will go up to over 3%. Some of this would lead to hopefully uh, improving the access to healthcare, and it's, it's true for all countries. You know, it's, it's always quick and easy to you know get benefits from price controls. But you know, as an industry, we would uh, we would expect that there would also be uh, you know equivalent gestures by the part of the government to increase access to healthcare, which is a very major part of the total healthcare cost. And it's it's it's, it's important that. You know, I uh, look at it holistically uh, in this country. The last topic uh, which I want to briefly touch upon is again, uh, you know, uh, uh, discussed topic at the moment. It's, uh, uh, you know, a spate of warning letters have come in this country. Uh, US FDA uh, compliance levels and scrutiny has uh, gone up. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion on this. So, uh, you know, few things I wanted to clarify on this. I think uh, USFDA has been moving in this direction for a few years and they have you know, publicly announced their intention that they want to improve quality from drugs all over the world and uh, to that extent they will, they have taken it as one of their highest priorities. Uh, they, it was actually a, you know, a public comment earlier this year. So the warning letters as such is not specific to this country. You know, there are uh, this year, uh, as late as May this year, uh, Boeing the Reliant plant in Germany got warning letter, uh, White Italian plant got warning letter, and uh, Sandoz has several warning letters all over the world, including the uh, Austrian plant. So, considering the fact that Indian generic companies have been, uh, you know, uh, taking a larger market share, there is more uh, ADS file, number of audits have gone up, so it's expected that in view of uh, overall direction of FDA and uh, and you know the, you know, the large uh, share of the U.S. generics market, there are uh, you know a few observations and warning letters which are coming up. But what's the moot point in this? 
I think the message, underlying message is more important. It's, I think it's very clear that uh, the message to the industry is, I think, uh, the, the quality aspect has to be looked at more holistically. It is not the end quality, but, you know, the robustness of the system, uh, the transparency involved, uh, the assurance provided to the drugs. I think all responsible Indian companies are working towards it and working very effectively.